Governor Janet Mills announced earlier this week gyms and fitness centers can no longer reopen on June 1st. The owner of a dance studio in Portland says she's caught right in the middle of this and is trying to change it. New Center Maine's Roslyn Flaherty has more. For more than two months, this is how dancers at Dance Moves Maine have been practicing. It's really hard to dance in a very small space when you're used to dancing um, in a huge, beautiful 5,000 square foot studio. When you open a studio, when you do it to have connection with the children. Owner Michelle Merrill is ready to get that connection back. They work for over six months on a two and a half minute routine and then miss out on their chance. But according to Governor Janet Mills's reopening plan, Merrill says dance studios fall under the umbrella of fitness and exercise gyms, which she is trying to change. We work with children and we can comply with a lot of with all of the checklists. It's why she sent this proposal to the governor Friday. We have big open studio spaces. We typically don't use equipment. And any equipment that we do choose to use, maybe a ballet bar, we can wipe down. She says dancers are also trained on how to properly distance themselves from each other. We're not supposed to be touching each other and be near each other. And we also all face the same way into a large mirror that the teacher can then monitor and is supposed to monitor all the kids. Something dancer Abby O'Brien says she learned at a young age. Dancing is about spacing. So um, if you're a smart dancer, you definitely are capable to keep space from one another. Merrill hopes her detailed proposal will allow dancers back into the studio so they can continue doing what they love. Rosalind Flaherty, New Center, Maine.